Hi there, today's video is going to be all about the new updates for Microsoft Outlook. To kick us off, we want to show you the new loop component integration for Outlook. This was introduced to Microsoft Teams back in 2022 and they have now introduced this collaborative feature to Outlook as well. Loop components allow you to create lists, tables and more that can be edited in real time by you and the recipients. It allows you to work collaboratively with your team, for example here we have added a table in our email, we can fill out all of the bits we need to and then when we've sent this out to our recipients, they can then work on filling the rest out together in real time. As you can see here, this is how it will come through to a recipient and then they have full access to edit and collaborate on the table. Our second update is scheduling polls via find time. This new feature allows you to send a poll to recipients with a suggested time to schedule an upcoming meeting. When suggesting a time, you can filter by the time or by the availability of the recipients. Once you've chosen a time and a date to suggest for the meeting, you can then choose a location. You have the option of a Teams meeting too. We also have a list of poll settings, for example, holding selected times on your calendar, notifying for poll updates, request attendees to verify their identity, etc. Once you're ready, you can create this poll and view how your poll will look. It will show you the recipient votes and any new time proposals. This is a great way to get your team scheduled in for meetings. Our next update is new filtering for your Microsoft Outlook calendar. This new feature is located at the top of the taskbar and allows you to filter your calendar view. For example, different categories, meetings where you're the organizer, meetings based on reoccurrence and more. This enables you to specify what exactly you want to see in your calendar. The next new feature is embedding of YouTube videos. You have been able to paste links within emails before, but now you can paste a YouTube link within an email message and it will now present a thumbnail and a preview of the YouTube video. Our last but not least update is the message reactions. When you open a message up on the right hand side where you would normally reply or forward an email, you can now react to an email with Microsoft's new 3D emojis. These have already been introduced on Microsoft Teams, but now they've put them on Outlook email as well. This is a great way to make emails that bit more interactive. That concludes our video for today, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.